Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here. We've got a question from a fellow boater um, because there's some hot news happening right now in the boating world. NMEA, the National Marine Electronics Association, uh, just recently announced that they're officially launching OneNet. And you're like, what is OneNet? So the NMEA has been around for a while and it allows basically multiple manufacturers to exchange information. And in the first version of that was NMEA 0183. Okay, so 0183 uh, was basically serial communication and allowed, you know, uh, for example, a chart plotter that had GPS to share that GPS with a VHF radio and uh, I don't know, maybe your autopilot. Okay, so it's sharing a little bit of information not super easy to, look simple, but isn't simple to install. And the systems were getting pretty complicated. So they came out with NMEA 2000. NMEA 2000 is a way to still, again, share data. Um, you can have multiple GPS, it's any to any, and it's a bus topology, not serial anymore, it's bus. And it comes from CAN bus, which is control, controller area network. Basically it's used everywhere, not just in marine, it's used in automation. Uh, it was invented by Bosch, it was so much, that's what I heard. And now it got adopted within the marine world and we use it to share information. But what kind of information? And it has its limitations. The throughput is not to handle video. What's video? Video could be a radar or a sounder, but it's meant to share little pieces of data, like basically just simple numbers, right? So data to me is just little numbers like depth, speed, uh, engine coolant temp, um, oil pressure, whatever those little sort of data fields that you have, no problem. Any ME2000 can share that. AIS data, a lot of data, it can handle it. But at one point, that backbone cannot handle radar information, cannot handle sounder information. I get questions all the time, Jeff, can I interconnect my cameras over an ME2000 so that I can actually see a video feed? You can't too much data. And so what they started in creating, and now it's sort of ready to be launched, is this concept of OneNet. Like, so we've talked about NMEA 0183, serial, right? Complicated, most people didn't install it. Next was NMEA 2000. Easier, but not trivial, but easier. Sharing a lot of data. But what about sharing, like, more data? Video data. Like, what about a video camera? What about a radar image? What about a sounder image? That's OneNet. OneNet is the ability of sharing data, but doing so on a protocol, and it's built on Ethernet, right? So we have that everywhere, our homes, our businesses, life, everything happens on Ethernet in terms of data communication, right? Well, of course there's fiber, but Ethernet is everywhere. So what they started doing, and we've got this already in our boats, like radars for the last 10 years have been connected over Ethernet from the radar to the chart plotter. Again, sounders to a black box or from a chart plotter to a black box over ethernet. Cameras, video over IP, right? That again is ethernet. But what the manufacturers, the electronics manufacturers are looking for is this one day where, and this is a dream, but it would be an amazing dream, where you can start sharing these high bandwidth content like radar and a sounder between manufacturers. And when that day happens, you're gonna be potentially be able to have a radar from one manufacturer talk to a chart plotter from another manufacturer. And that would be an absolute game changer. Now, is it gonna happen this year, next year? I'm a little bit of a cynic. <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna happen overnight, but at least they're talking about a language which is gonna allow them to actually collaborate. And that's the key. The conversation has started, the protocol is almost official, and when it is there, then the manufacturers are gonna find ways to start playing nice with one another, to allow some content to come from one vendor to go to another one, and they'll do that sharing that information via OneNet. And that's what's so promising about OneNet. Not gonna happen overnight, but at least it's we're, we're here and it's starting. And so that's a really good question between NMEA 2000, NMEA 0183, and OneNet. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.